the game is starting right now with Proven splitting up his probes really nicely. Whoops, I spoiled who's playing right there. This is VMG Proven. And I Proven splitting up his probe really nicely to actually Oops, put that right there. So last game. So I do it now instead. Why not? The Zerg player in the bottom right is playing G Force at the five o'clock position. And well last game. Hmm. Let's follow this conversation, shall we? Just a conversation. Oh! 11 pool going on there. Or, I mean, 11 over pool. And then we will see, um... This is basically a structure trick, but I was a bit scared. T-Force likes to, uh... Express his... Well, his feelings towards Provon, and, uh, well, that is interesting. Proven told me he would do something interesting in this game, so I hope that's going to be true. Look at those plants. Aren't they beautiful? Ohana means family, by the way, guys. I hope you don't know that already, because I just spoiled it. And Proven gets a name tag. Yes, he will. Oh, J4 gets a name tag. That's the title he will get. By the way, this stream is uh, for 12 years and older, as you might have noticed, because there's soaring going on. And as we see right here, we see the 15 pool. This is totally standard play, still standard play. Nexus first for uh, Provan. Maybe a bit late, but it's fine. And as we see in the production tab as well, it's a standard. I can repeat this chest I said about five years ago and again and again and again I can then and it won't change. The, the fact is the games will be the same in the first three minutes. Unless there's some cheese going on, which I highly doubt there will. I really like middle less this is why I am so <laughs> angry at him for that. The Nexus is going, is down, and so is going to be the hatchery soon. I think they will finish at, at the same time, if you can see. The Nexus is a bit ahead, but with the drones being made for G Force, that's going to be alright. He really wants to take a third right at this moment, though, and he seems to be doing that. Not. Maybe he is, maybe he is not. That is. Yes, he is. This one drone is being selected to go down there and take it. It's uh, half a minute late. Uh, nothing too special, honestly. Uh, this Overlord is going there. Well, honestly, I would expect the Overlord to go there to scout the main of Proven, but this is not the case. So the Overlord should go there to scout for proxies and for forward pylons. Three hatcheries being down at this moment in time, and... Uh, the third hatchery almost being halfway done. Well, queens are being made, of course, because who doesn't like their queens? And there is no gas coming up yet, which is, well, that means he's going for standard play. And since G4 is doing this weird thing where he gets four gas at seven minutes, which is actually not that stupid, because he may be able to mess around with Proban's head a bit there if he doesn't see any gases being taken at 6.30, which is the absolute max normally. While, right now, he does actually take his one gas. He takes one gas right now, and he might take the rest later on. Uh, he should have two extra gases added around the 640 mark by then. This probe scouts the third nicely, and sees it's almost being completed, so it has fully standard play going on for Provon, as well, for the G-Force. Warp gate being more being warped in and uh, I mean being researched. I'm sorry. Well, five extra gateways are being made as well. I mean six. I mean five. I'm sorry. Never mind six. Six warp gates are being warped in. 
so that means that there will be seven gates. If you can count, seven gateways on the way for Pro One. That might actually indicate how close actually uh, uh what kind of all in this is going to be i'm sorry it, it, it might be a a, a uh, five gate expand uh five gate robo expand for proton which is is not going to be by the way it is actually going to be a he tried to fake that out by for, for if there was a circling there he might go for the immortal all in this is very famous on this map and since geforce knows nothing of this he knows there's a stalker approaching right now, which is completely standard, but the Zerkling scout it, and that is fine, because, well, there's a shitload of zealots there. Spinecrawler being actually killed uh, before it can get cancelled, and the third is in danger, guys. The third is actually in danger. He needs to spam those links slash roaches soon. More units should be morphing in in any second right now, and there is going to be more warpings for stalkers. Do we see any robo going down? No, we see no robo whatsoever. So that means a seven gate all in is going down for Provon. Or is it even an all in? I feel like it is an all in at least. I'm not sure if, if it's officially classified as an all in. Uh, but the third is down uh, because, well, GeForce decided to overdrawn a bit. While all these stocks are being reinforced and, and there is just nothing for GeForce right now. You can do to save that third that is basically already dead. Stalkers still being made along with those zealots. And the all in came really quick. The all in came really, really quick. However, can he have enough units to defend his natural expansion? Because there's a lot of zealots, but there's also a lot of roaches and links. And, and it seems like. G uh, like Provansky is just going to be able to crush this easily with his stalker all in eventually. It's not a blink stalker all in, which surprised me because I, I would think his mic will be good enough. But the P this PVC seems to be easily won by Provan with seven more zealous.